Hello everyone, welcome to Coders Camp. So in this video, we are going to cover one of the biweekly contest problem, which is reduction operation to make the array elements equal. So here the input given is an integer array and we have to return the number of operations to make all elements in array equal. And the rules given here is find the largest value and replace it with the next largest. And by that, how many steps we need to make in order to make all the elements equal. So let's understand this problem with an example. So here is a given input and we have to make the largest element to next largest. So in this given array, we have five as the largest element. So the first step is to make it to next largest. So the next largest element is three. So once you replace the largest to next largest, the array is going to become three, one and three. So now we have to pick the largest and make it to the next largest. And if there are more than one elements, we have to take the element which is the smaller index. So here the smaller index is zero. So at zeroth position, the largest element is three. We have to replace three to one. So in this case, it is going to become one comma one comma three, which is actually our step two. We have one more element left to be changed, which is three again. If we are changing it to the next element next largest element then it is going to become one 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 and it is a step three that is what is our output so how are we going to approach this so here two things to be noted is whichever is the smallest element that is going to be the element which has to be replaced with all other elements in the given array that is once you converted all the elements it is going to be all smallest element and the second thing is the state problem statement says if there are more than three elements equal or two elements equal in that case we have to pick the element which is in the smallest index but that has nothing to do with this problem actually without considering that statement we can solve this so let's see how we are going to implement the solution so consider this example array the numbers are shuffled we are going to change the numbers from largest to smallest so let's sort the given array in any order you are comfortable with either in descending order or ascending order so let me have a sorted array here so first, if you check, we are going to change the largest element to the second largest. So here, there are five, four fives which are the largest. So now we are, our task is to change all fives to three because three is the next largest element in the given array. If we are trying to change the element in the first position, that is the least index, then we are going to change this particular five to three. So in that case, our first step is to changing it to three and then three fives left. So again, in the next step, we will be changing this five to three. So this is gonna become three, three, five, five. This is, that is step two. And the third step is gonna be three, 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 five. And that is step three. And finally it becomes all threes. And that is gonna be our step four. So after four steps, we have our array like this with two twos and seven threes. So now our next task is to convert all these threes to two. Starting from this index, we are going to convert this to 2 and then the rest of the numbers are going to be 3 and at the next step, we convert the next 3 to 2 and then we have the rest 3 and so on till we complete all these 3s to 2s. For that, it is actually going to take the number of 3s present in this array. There are 7 3s and we need 7 more steps to convert all 3s to 2. So overall, then the array is going to become all 2s. So overall, it took four plus seven steps which is nothing but 11 steps to convert this array equal so now you get an idea how this is going to work we're going to pick the largest element and how many time ever times the element is there that many steps is going to take us to convert it to the next element same way again how many ever elements is there that is going to that many steps are going to take us to convert it to the next largest element so now you understand the logic of this problem how are we going to do this in code is the question here so we are going to iterate our sorted array and we are going to calculate our sum is equal to n minus i where n is the size of the given array and i is the index of that particular element so we are going to iterate the given array in descending order so one whenever we notice a different element at this particular index so here we note that 5 is different from 3 so in that case we have to change all these fives to 3 so we are going to calculate the size of the array, which is nine minus the actual index of the array, which is five equal to four. So we actually need 
four steps to convert the rest of the elements to this particular element. So hope you're understanding this logic. This is going to work in big O of n log n time complexity as we are going to sort the given array that is going to take n log n and we are going to iterate the sorted array once that is going to take n time. So overall it is big O of n log n. So let's go to the code now. I actually tried a prior TQ solution but here what we have seen is quite a better solution than this. So yes, as I said, let's sort the given array. Once sorted, we are going to iterate it. So we are going to compare if our numbers are different, then we are going to have a count. So let me declare my variable count. And that is the output we are going to finally return. So inside my loop, I'm going to calculate my count every time we encounter a different number. So yes, finally our count will return the number of steps we need to do to make all the elements equal. So let's run and try. So yes, let's submit. Yes, our solution is accepted and runs in 30 milliseconds. So thanks for watching the video, which is the fastest solution out of all. So if you like the video, hit like, subscribe and let me know in comments. Thank you.